On this callout, I am repairing this D5 fridge freezer. The freezer is at the bottom and the fridge is at the top. Um, the information on it tells us about the model number, product code, and so on. At the top, we have our thermostat for this fridge freezer and the light. In the moment, this fridge is running, and if I feel it, there is nothing that is happening. There is no cold that is coming at all. So we know if the freezer is not getting cold, then the fridge will not get cold also. So it has been running since the day it started the problem. Concerning that, I don't advise to keep the appliance on when it's not working. Well, I sincerely apologize about certain steps that I skipped when I was making this video. Um, I wasn't planning to make a video on this, but I decided to make it later after I have done certain things. I hope you have seen that this this compressor is using R600, which is a flammable gas. What uh, I just did on this fridge, um, I just bypassed the inside condenser. So I just fitted a dryer on the outside condenser and the capillary tube. Um, but why I did that? It's because it's leaking. How I figured that it's leaking, I tested the cooling system first for a leak and the cooling system passed. After that, I came to this internal condenser. I fitted a service valve there. And on this side, I closed. Um, I braced and closed. So after that, I like to vacuum and wait for 15 minutes and see if it goes back to zero. After that, I put gas and wait for 15 minutes and see if it's dropping. Then here, it was going back to zero after closing the vacuum and closing the gauges. My gas was going out, was dropping, so I saw that it's leaking. So if the internal system passed, this external condenser, I just did in, I just did visual inspection on it, and I can see that it's working hundred percent. So I'm just gonna vacuum the system, wait for fifteen minutes. If everything is okay, I'm gonna regas the system. We are now back, and after vacuuming, the system passed. So I'm now regassing the system. Um, what I did, I charged the system to plus minus 20 and after that I stopped and I started the compressor. Now the compressor is running and I'm checking carefully at what pressure is my gauge pressure while the compressor is running. You must remember that R600, unlike R134A, R22, and other cases that are written on this gauge, when the system is running, we put, um, we stop putting the gas while the system is running when our gauge is reading zero when I close the cylinder. But with R600, we stop regressing while we are, we are still below zero. So when I regress R600, on my experience, that's what I do. And I've never overcharged the R600 since I started using that system. I'm now filling the condenser and I can see that um, the three top grids uh, now getting hot nicely but I have to wait and see if um, that 
heat is going down. So if the heat is not going down, this is a 15 grid condenser. I will add another gas. And you can see that we are at almost minus 15. So I'm going to put a little bit of gas and see if, if we are running at minus 10. Will the other grids going down get hot? Immediately when the, I would say the fifth last grid, immediately when it gets hot or the fourth last grid gets hot, I stop. And I know that on my gauge, I will still be below zero. I will still be reading minus. So that's our 600 work. Once our 600 reads zero when the fridge is running, trust me, you've overcharged that fridge and it's going to cause problems. So my top grids now, um, from the first grid to the fifth grid, they are hot. I can feel also this one that is hot more than the one beneath it or under it, which is a good thing. Um, that is the house owner that you see there. Well, I can feel that we, we're not yet done with recasing because as I go down, I still have plus five grids um, that are still cold, 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 cold. So I'm going to open the cylinder and add some gas. So you can see that my needle is moving. Um... I'll keep it open for a few seconds. I'll then close and wait just a little bit. Yeah, I've closed now. We are at minus 10. So that's what I'm trying now. I'm trying to make it minus 10 and see how it will behave. I still know that after that, I must still leave this fridge at least for about 15 minutes, seeing if the heat doesn't go down. Because R600 really requires patience. It's not as easy as R134A, R22, R404. Uh, it is it's not that easy. Those cases, um, Heavy cases are easy to to charge when you have the correct gauge when you have the correct gauges for them. So um done charging the system now since I'm at minus ten. Um I will check the fridge later. So this video ends here. Please don't forget to subscribe.